Hey, check it. It's Farhad, aka the Cannibal. Why am I the Cannibal? Cause I'm dead and eat up, yo. Check it. Yeah, listen to the Cannibal. Gonna rap about my favorite topic, that's the animal. Yeah, you know they all got three traits. If you don't know these three, then I'm gonna hate. First trait of animals. They all share, they're multicellular, that rule is easy and fair. Trait 2 is their raw head of rope tropes. If a question says they're autotrophs, you know it's a joke. Trait 3 is they move under their own power at some point in their life, even if it's for an hour. It's these three traits that make them different from all the other five kingdoms. He likes Bio 94, you like his flow, he ain't gonna stop, so here he goes. Animals are also unique for several reasons, they don't do alternation of generations. They got nervous and muscular tissue, my boy, most adults are diploid, gametes are haploids. Also animals like the cell wall, but they have extensive extracellular matrix, my man. Now you know these traits, repeat them if you can Cause I'm switching to the ways they differ in body plans Symmetry, tissue layers, and the coelom Can't forget about embryonic development I'll talk about these things in much greater detail So listen up, cause I don't want you guys to fail Animals, animals Listen to the cannibal he likes Bio 94, you like his flow, he ain't gonna stop, so here he goes. Animals can have three types of symmetry, asymmetrical animals can be cut equally. Then there's radio animals and they're a cinch, cut them equally into or more ways like a starfish. Bilateral animals can only be cut in one way equally, but with that came what? Cephalization, the formation of a head Allowing animals to move faster, that's what I said Yeah, let's talk about tissue layers Most animals have two or three tissue layers The one with two are called diploblasts They have endoderm, ectoderm, say that fast The ones with three are triploblasts, it's real easy They have endomesa, ectoderm, easy only sponges don't have ecto endo -meso. They have epithelium. Yeah, yo. Let's cross over to the topic of coelums. They're an internal cavity with fluids and oxygen. Only present in triplosis. Triplos don't have them. The triploblasts fall in three groups. So you better listen. If the triplos have no coelum, they're a coelum mate. But they're not necessarily worse because evolution changed them that way. Triplos can be pseudo coelum mate. And that's why there's no coelum, but mesoderm doesn't surround all sides. Finally, triploblasts can be coelum mates. Their coelum's completely surrounded by mesoderm, so please don't hate. Animals, animals, listen to the cannibal. He likes Bio 94, you like his flow, he ain't gonna stop, so here he goes. The last way animals differ in body plans is embryonic development, my dude, my man. Within the bilateral triploblasts are two groups, the protostomes, deuterostomes are these two groups. These two groups differ in cleavage, gastrulation, and coelom formation kids. Protostomes do spiral cleavage at the eight-cell stage that means a layer of four cells first before the embryo is made. The deuteros do radial cleavage at the eight-cell stage. Two layers of four cells stacking just like pancakes. In protostomes, the pore becomes the mouth first, whereas the deutero pore becomes the anus first. The coelom forms in protostomes by simple drops of mesoderm splitting into coelom so that rocks. When deuterostomes mesoderm pockets pinch up, the endoderm and book from the coelom you bust. Animals, animals, listen to the cannibal. He likes Bio 94, you like his flow, he ain't gonna stop, so here he go.